you send me here? I did not. You sent yourself. Do you hear me? I... I know your voice. I know you. Yes. Croesus. I weep for you. Why? Because you do not remember. What should I call you? Kai? Tava? Kinnereth? That is your choice to make. Croesus. I must go. No. No, wait. I'm here. I. Halduin Drun Evgir Unslar. Kai? Look at this. I've made a mess and gained very little. I suppose I should pick this up, huh? On his revelation at the death of Elish. Never mind, I don't have time to reread them. Oop. Ah. Uh. I'll at least put them. Up here. Close them. Strike Bloodthirsty I don't know. Marauder, Crusader. All kinds of things that I'm not. Even though I think maybe I might have been. Oh, I didn't really mean to drop that. Huh! I I just realized I'm wearing my hair just like him. I brought myself here. I was following your guidance, can't- I... Tava? Kine? Kinnereth? Aren't you the one who gives me visions? I... I 
I should get my armor back on. I have things to do. I know the sword's name even. <laughs> Chrysomir. I did make a mess of this place. Here's the thing about Pelinal, though. He didn't go mad until the woman he loved was killed. That's what it seems like to me. Get my armor on. And I think Well, I don't know why else I would have been brought here. But... I know we're fighting elves again. Is that why? That sword definitely has reach. But I wouldn't feel right. I wouldn't feel right taking any of this. He... presumably... died in this armor. Even though it's been cleaned and well-maintained, Helen of White Streak died in this armor. I can't take it. And these two have killed so many. I couldn't take them either. That's just not. That's just not who I am. I hope. But, I will take this. Oh gosh, this thing is unwieldy. In the extreme. Okay. <laughs> Work with me. I suppose I could just leave it. There. I was here. I'll take your shield. Maybe I can protect myself and everyone else with it. I can carry on your legacy as a champion of men. And hopefully skip the bloodshed. Although, I have a sneaking suspicion that if any elf sees me carrying this around, they might have a thing or two to say about it. I don't really need to be carrying it around in here.
can I? Oh. Shouldn't interrupt him. What priest of kind. Sorry. Yes? No, I'm just- I'm leaving. I have things to do. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it was the middle of the night. That's interesting. It's completely empty out here. I should probably see about getting myself a better spear to go with the shield. <laughs> Otherwise I'll just be wandering around and... Yeah. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Uh-huh. I... probably look pretty tired. The road to Whiterun's not safe these days. Lots of travelers just... Disappear. South of Dragon Bridge. Can't find a trace of them. Oh, good. Well, I'm headed to Riverwood. I'll see if I spot anything. Well, it kind of looks like they're on the way to do the same thing. But first... I still haven't decided what name to call you. But I do want you to know that I'm here. And I'm listening. I think... I don't know what I think, but thank you. I would do something like shout to the sky, but something tells me that's not a great thing to do outside of s ooh, the places. Populated his solitude. Was that there when I came in? Yikes. Ooh, travelers. Hey, excuse me. Oh. Need a ride? Um, maybe. Where do you want to go? Could you stop in Riverwood? Uh, never mind. I think I'll just walk. All right then. Have a good day. Stay safe. All that. What's going on up here? Everything all right? I'll take that as a yes. I should probably move along. Oh, right. It's a long road to Riverwood. And after that, who knows? Oh, right. 
after that, I might be coming straight back up this way. I guess we'll see. Hopefully I've given Delphine enough time to actually... Make a plan! Where? Right there! Hello! Alrighty! Kind! Now's a good time! For the bow. Never mind. Oh boy. That's a lot of people. Whoa. Oh. oh, it was a young one. You really didn't need my help, did you? Nicely done. Yeesh. never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. To be fair, I don't usually know what to say either. By the gods, I don't even know what to say. And supposedly I have a voice, so you're in good company. In all my years, I've never seen such a thing. Well, now you have. First time for everything, huh? <laughs> I should probably get moving. Who knows what kind of attra attention that attracted? D d d easy for me to say. Hi, don't mind the dragon corpse up the road. I'm sure they'll clear it out eventually. I hope they'll clear it out eventually. <sighs> Sorry, Arvita. I guess I'm not checking in with White Run today. I've got too much else to do. And I feel like I should shed some of this weight. I feel like I should shed some of this weight. Why is it so hard for me to talk? I don't know. Ah, oh, home sweet home. I guess. <laughs> kind of home. That just feels weird. But hey. I do feel like I'm home. <laughs> I still don't know what to do about that thing. But... Maybe I can put some of this in there. What am I ever going to do with an amulet of Mara? I can't really ever see myself getting married, you know? I'll keep some of those with me, on the off chance that I might be able to sell them. Here's my drum. Oh wow. And all the claws. Okay, well there's some. Huh. 
I really don't need those anymore. And what am I going to do with you? Might as well carry it. I think that's about it. Those dragon bones were really weighing me down. Ain't that a metaphor? Anyway, I've got too much to do to be... idling around here. Yes, I do. Uh, oh, right. I know where the bridge is, sure. Actually, on second thought, I probably shouldn't have this out in a town. Huh. You know, well, there's two of them now. I know an old Dunmer superstition about which direction cliff racers usually fly in. I feel like the same would apply to birds of prey. Like if they're flying to the right it means good luck, and if they're flying to the left it means bad luck or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it only applies to cliff racers. Which I've never seen one, so... Oh boy, let's see what she's got for me. Hey, pardon me. Papa says I'm too friendly to strangers. Stupid dog. But you seem alright. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you just be careful to the strangers you talk to, okay? I'm the Thane, so I'm alright, but. Or, uh, Thane. I don't know which. You take care now, okay? Hmm? Come on in. I don't think you were fired. Take Mom. a seat. This planned. is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, We're... the Imperials. Was I gonna make sure I wasn't Drink followed? To our youth, today's come and gone. For the age I mean, of I kind of have been all over the place, so... You know. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take Would you like me to go out there and tell Svenda? I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Alright. On the day of your death we will drink You said me, sing. not we. You're not coming. That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. I mean that's a good point. So what's your plan? <laughs> How are we going to sneak a red guard into the Thalmor embassy? I just <laughs> Everything about that, and having learned a few things along the way, that just... caused it me the wrong way, you know? The Thalmor ambassador, Elenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Elenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. Okay. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking <laughs> Skeever. You know it? While you're oh. doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? None so far. You're gonna pay for my fare back to Solitude? Cause that's where I just came from. I'm joking. So, once I'm inside the embassy, what do I do then? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Okay. Knowing what I know about Wood Elves, or at least one that I've met, I assume we can trust Melbourne, right? Don't worry about Melbourne. He's not a dangerous character like you. <laughs> but he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a Wood Elf. 
that Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the Ambassador's parties. Did you just say... purges? In Valenwood? I... sorry, I have a friend who's a wood elf, and I've just... I kind of have some sympathy for him now, that I didn't have before. Alright, better not waste any time, huh? I'll see you in solitude after I meet Melbourne. Sounds good. Be careful. And he's at the Winking Skeever, you say? <laughs> oh, boy. I should have just taken the carriage. Well, hey, I'll take it back. How about that? Maybe I'll work on a song or two while I'm on the way. No, I don't have time to be singing here. Not like I'm much of a s Hello! Sorry. Pardon me. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. But you seem alright. Not terribly good with faces, that one. Is she? Just like me. That was me when I was that age. All right, stop ruining the ruminate ruminating. Oh. I suppose I could have just left that trip to for uh, when I got back. Oh well. Going to a party, huh? Which means I'm going to need party clothes. Oh boy! Well, hey, I'll be in solitude. I don't even think about it. Oops. Hey. Okay. I know that there's a place owned by wood elves there, right? Wood elves? High elves. Radiant Raymond. Can't remember if I've ever been in there before. I have, I guess I've just forgot. Oh boy. Let's not go tripping down the side of the mountain, huh? Uh, well, I would stop by, but... I didn't see anything on the road. Even though apparently people are disappearing. I'm gonna trust Yarn Vita and the companions right at the moment. And the guards. And whatever patrols come through here. I suspect that's most of the problem, actually. Oh boy. Alright. Hi! Bjorlum, right? Need a ride? Yep, actually I do. Where do you want to go? Solitude. And if you see your friend there, just don't mention me, alright? Climb and back and we'll be off. <laughs> Man, I'm an idiot. Solitude's a big port town, you know. Full of sailors and their tales of faraway lands. Most of them's foreigners and liars, of course. Oh, I can't believe I actually managed to sleep some. Huh. Well, I guess I did sort of almost pull an all-nighter. Yeesh, it's getting late again already. Hi, I'm back. What do you need, Bard? Ooh. Oh. Guess... That wasn't... I mean, they all wear the same kind of closed-faced helmet, so... Never mind. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. No, I'm good. I'm just looking for... Someone. 
Hey, you haven't happened to see a wood elf around here, would you? Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Right. Anyway. Remember the Winking Skeever next time your foot's sore. Being old's ah. not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed, and my working days are done. <laughs> he seems pretty spry for an old guy. Never mind. I see I should have asked. You're just sitting right here. Hi. Redguard. Malborn? Our mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows <laughs> what she's doing. That was my thought. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. Oh. Okay. What kinds of things should I bring? You're asking me? She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. <gasps> if you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. Well, to be fair, I'm not entirely sure either of us know what we're doing, but I'll do my best. I'm gonna need some time to get a few things ready. And then... Yeah, then we'll go. I might... I'll see you back here tomorrow. Can you wait that long? I'll, I'll give you a few more minutes. I can't wait here all day. It's my neck on the line, remember? All right, never mind. I... You ready yet? I need to get back before I missed. Remember, you won't have anything except what I smuggle in for you. All right, okay. Let me... Let me give you my weapons and such, and then I'll... Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Right. Oh, man. I feel weird being without all this, but... Well, this isn't going to help me move quickly or quietly, but... I mean, if you can smug... Mm. That's not very easily smuggleable, is it? Oh man. Yep, I'm gonna need a few minutes. Hold on. Uh. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Uh oh. I may have made a mistake. This is gonna be interesting. I guess we got off on the wrong foot, huh? Alright. I'm gonna go just hide out for a while. And try not to panic. I wonder if the room is still mine. Do you mind, sir? I guess not. Alright. I'm just gonna wait. Over here. Hello there. And keep an eye on him. Really hope I know what I'm doing. And man am I glad I found Tari. She had just what I was looking for. What I'm particularly interested in. Hello! Turning heads. But... Boy am I gonna turn a few heads. <laughs> uh... This is not gonna go well. Oh boy. Hey, Delphine! Sorry. Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? <laughs> About that. Yep, yep, Malborn's all set. He's fine. Ah. Uh, 
he definitely... I, I think the top priority would be having him there and able to smuggle me in, right? He's all set. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, oh. I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. All right. Well, actually, I, I, I kind of have a better idea for the party clothes. But if it'll make you happy, I'll put them on for the carriage ride over. I don't want to get these dirty anyway, so... Good plan. Good plan. There. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. <laughs> Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Yep, I suppose I am. Tava, guide me. Hold on a minute. This is no time for cold feet. I've put everything in your hands here. Not least Melbourne's life. Yeah, I know. Now do whatever it is you need to do, and let's get going before we miss our chance. Okay, yep, just give me one second. I'm doing red guard things. Nothing a Nord like you would understand. Huh. Anyway. I probably shouldn't have pulled that card, but here we are. Oh boy. Kind. I screwed up a little bit. Help? Help would be appreciated. Thanks. Oh boy. Probably... That's... <laughs> Not what I meant. <laughs> okay. I think I'm ready now. Don't worry. It will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. I think that'll do it. Okay. I don't think anyone saw me changing. Good. Alright. There goes something. Mother would be proud. Which makes me cringe a little. Do I need to show you my invitation? Go right on in. The party is already started. Thank you. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> Guess they're expecting me. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. Oh. Hello? Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? You're Ellenwyn. I've heard so much about you. I was here hoping to establish some kind of communications between the Thalmor and... Uh, um... I'm here on behalf of some interested individuals from Hammerfell. Have you? All good, I trust. But you have me at a disadvantage. I'm afraid I know nothing about you. Please, Madam tell me Ambassador, more about I'm yourself. So sorry, what brings you to this... <sighs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the... Of Arinthia course. Red. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted. <sighs> Apparently, the Red Wave has been docked in solitude for well over a month, and with no sign of shipping out anytime soon. No just Some say the ship heart. suffered damage to her hull when she struck an iceberg, and oh, Captain man. Safia can't afford the repairs. Of course, she would never admit such a thing. Captain Safia is far too proud a woman for that. 
Hey, Melvin. Delphine was right about me. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Of course. Let's hope we both live through this day. Yeah, no kidding. All right, I'll do my best. All right, then. I'm just making small talk. Any tips? Never mind. Oh, gods, I've always been horrible at parties. Wait, I remember you. Now, here's a face I did not expect to see. Be mindful, for you walk among adders. I like you. Do you visit the embassy often? There are words spoken and words unspoken. Beware these, Thalmor, for they are adept in both languages. For this reason, I avoid them when I can. Good advice, y'all, Ravencrone. Good advice. May wisdom light your path. Mm-hmm. And yours. With the soldiers all fighting in the war, there's nobody to hunt down the bandits. Travel has become dangerous of late. You speak truly. Have you heard any interesting rumors of late? It's actually well, a great opportunity. I did hear that the Argolians have been banned who? from living inside the walls of Windhelm. They're only allowed on the city docks now. Most of them sleep together in one building. Oh, and like they're as poor as wretches. Gather the courage to speak to any of them. Right? We've got our hands full dealing with the Stormcloaks. What about you? I've spent many hours in council meetings lately grappling with that problem. These are troubling times, indeed. Hello. <sighs> Just between us, I've got more important things to do than attend these meaningless parties. What brings you here? You seem... Well, you don't seem like a Jarl, and I don't think I've seen you around. Ill luck. I'm a busy man, and I don't have time for this sort of frivolity. But at the same time, I don't dare refuse an invitation from Ellenwyn. Understood. I'll let you get back to it then. Goodbye, but... Oh, don't worry about me. I relish the challenge. Okay, he looks busy. Oh boy. Oh, pardon me? At least Ulfric's men are willing to fight for their principles. Barbaric as they may be. That's interesting. So what do you think? You think there could be peace between the Thalmor and the Empire? Is the there is peace now, and that peace will continue Very for as long as it suits our needs. But make no mistake, this is not a peace forged out of necessity between rival nations of equal strength. It is more like the calm between storms, and the next storm, I think, will be far deadlier than the last. Of course. It's been a brutal winter. What are your duties exactly here in Skyrim? I lead the Justitias. We are charged with enforcing the ban on Talos worship. Nords can be quite stubborn. They're slow to change their ways, and we find more heretics every day. But mark me well. I will purge the heresy from this land as surely as the flame burns the flesh from the bone. Of course. I'll we'll have to get back to the party then. All right, then. I hope you're enjoying yourself, ma'am. I'm... terrified. Hi. You seem... busy. <laughs> uh, what's a kid doing here? Another kid. This war has taken a toll on the merchants of Skyrim. Let's hope that it oh, ends pardon soon. Me. For their sake. Sorry, I, I know just what you mean. You're right. Heard anything Isn't this something? Yeah. Ellen one really knows how to host a party. Well, I did see yeah. something interesting not long ago. There were several Kajit Are you kept outside the walls of Alright, you seem Seems they've been traveling around the whole of Skyrim peddling their wares. 
You've got to I don't know, I get the sense that doing something like that with dragons on the loose in a You have um husband problems. Are you here with one of the Arls? I beg your pardon. You must have me mistaken for someone else. I am Elisif, widow of High King Torig and Jarl of Solitude. Oh right. Lucky for you, I possess a forgiving nature, and I'm not easily Please insulted. Sorry, I didn't recognize you. I'll leave you to it then. It was I'm good to sure meet you, y'all. So. It was a pleasure. Like Thank you. Yeah, Skyrim no is out to prove that he's the equal of Yorlin Greymane. It's not really a fair comparison, if you okay. ask me. After all, Yorlin works the sky for him. And how was any smith going to seem... compete with that? One moment, please. Prevent us? The Empire is fortunate to have the support of the Thalmor during this difficult time, don't you think? Uh-huh. Sure. Quite a gathering, wouldn't you say? Oh yes, quite. So many important people from all across Skyrim. <laughs> You're one of the last people I would expect to see here, but... Down, and I guess that means Balgriff is around here somewhere, huh? I know just what you mean. Heard anything it's good to see you. Don't let me keep you. I heard yeah. those mages up in Winterhold have been trying to figure out how many dragons there are in Skyrim. They seem to think it's at least a dozen. <laughs> but I'm sure they're exaggerating. <laughs> they're probably trying to scare us into giving them more money and influence. Oh, so they can save us from the dragon's threat. I don't know who she is. Speaking of adders... Hi, enjoying the party? I don't recall seeing oh, you me. these before, and I know everyone who's anyone in Skyrim. Between well, the dragons and the storm I'm, folks, my shall we say, fire. a bit new to I've Skyrim, so I'm not not surprised. With any luck, a worthy what hero exactly is your relationship with the Thalmor? We have a relationship like of mutual of respect. I care little about the politics and rivalries between the Thalmor and the Empire, but I do respect power. And the Thalmor have that. They leave me alone, and I leave them alone. Down, and we once again have peace. Understood. Well, I did see some. Are you one of the Arls, or what brings you here? To maintain relationships. The by the like way, I don't know who you are, but unless you want me to blow your cover, I'd advise that you avoid me for the rest of the party. something like that with dragons on the loose and a war going. Understood. I'm that obvious, huh? Okay. Until next time. Oh, I really hope there isn't next time. Thanks. Oh boy. You know, it's really good to see a fellow red card around here. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ask nicely. Ah, oh, pardon me, friend. I didn't see you standing there. Allow me to introduce myself. Rosalon. Imports and exports by trade. Observer of human nature by avocation. I hope they serve the roast venison gotcha. with the green sauce that we had. You look thirsty. My that friend, you are very true. perceptive. You heard any I have a powerful thirst that well, cannot I be slaked. <laughs> and none of the waiters will bring <laughs> me a drink. <laughs> Ellen Wynn must have told him to cut me up. I'm afraid I'll cause Maybe another scene, I suppose. <laughs> Why, Rosalon, you seem to be exactly the person I was meant to meet here. I'll be right back. I need another drink. I'm aware of this. We've got our hands full dealing with the Stormcloaks. And who you? might you be? For the man who knows how to make money, war can be a most profitable venture. You sound like quite the businessman. But not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. Interesting. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you. Very well, then. There's a likely-looking filly, even if she is an elf. Oh, boy. You there, serving girl! What's your name, dear? Ah, oh, Braylor, sir. Do you need a drink? Something to eat? 
No, no, that's not what I'm interested in right now. I just wanted to get a better look at you. I like what I see, my dear. Oh? And believe me, I don't say that to everyone. I'm hey, very what? discriminated yes, what do you need? when it comes Can to I get a female. drink, please? Here you go, ma'am. The ah, finest Colovian brandy. Thanks. Is there anything else I can get for you? Something to whack that guy upside the head with. Anyway, no, nothing yet. All right, then. Yep, everything's fine. Yes, sir. I don't know if you saw that, but... What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ask nicely. I assume you were watching what just went... What just happened over there? I need a drink, what about you? Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles! If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Of course. Actually, there is something you could do for me. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. I hear that Ulfric Stormcloak was slain while defending Windhelm against a dragon, but it sounds too good to be true. Do you want to go get everyone's attention for a few minutes? Is that all? My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Oh boy. Stand back and behold my handiwork. I mean, that's not precisely what I meant. Oh boy, I can't wait attention, to see this. Attention everyone! Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn. Our mistress. What's I speak doing? figuratively, of course. Uh, Nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. <laughs> okay. Although, let's go. Most let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before yeah. everyone notices us. Understood. But again, I speak figuratively, of course. Okay. Fine, fine. Well, that worked, kind of. Me. Let me do the talking. Okay. I'm letting you do. Come on. I'm following forward, your lead. So far, so good. Drink. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. No kidding. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Oh, what gear? Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. I heard He's sneaking Ellen around in this. A bottle of her best firebrand Good come, I can hardly wait. You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? The you know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Uh, Come on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. All right. Frankly, I'm pretty sure I already screwed this up, but... Well, hey, at least I've still got these. Be less noticeable, at least. Alright. Good enough. Alright. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Okay. You do that. This is gonna get ugly. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Lock the door. 